Hey guys, this is John. I'm going to do a short little video on something. Um, I do uh, deal in these liquidation lots. I buy them online and then I get them shipped to the house. And then I go through them. Usually it's to get a couple items out of it that's high dollar that I can sell, get my money back. And then most of the rest of the stuff is uh, free. Uh, so one of the items, a lot of times I'll get items that are broken, defective, or the customer who had it before had no idea what they were doing. Uh, in this case, it's obvious that the customer got themselves one of these little lock boxes, set the combo, and then forgot about it. These things have no way of recovering the combo. There's no electronics, everything's metal. Uh, the only other way to combo, re, uh, recover the combo is to break it open and that basically ruins it. But you can hack it. So. These boxes are used by realtors. Uh, they could be used by um, parents for like, uh, what do you call them, latchkey kids. They have the keys in them. Oh, I just want to let you know, if you're a parent and you put your keys in one of these things for your kids, you're basically giving the crooks an open door to your house. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to find out what the combo is. I don't know what the combo is to this, but I'm going to find out what it is real quick. I'm going to show you how to do it. And... Um, don't use these if you're uh, if you're protecting anything, especially your property. Usually, if realtors have it, most likely uh, a lot of houses are pretty much empty. But um, they've gone to more digital forms of these key boxes. But uh, I wouldn't trust them. And I'm gonna show you why. So, what you want to get yourself is a nice solid object, like a pen. Says this pen has a little hole on the end, which is good to get onto these buttons. And um, these boxes have, you type in a combo, then you push this button down, the door opens, and then this button here clears it. Uh, you can have any number of uh, combos, but uh, we're gonna find out what this one is. And a lot of times it's usually a four button code. But what you do is you take this button and you squeeze down on it pretty hard you notice that the um, clear button moves with it what we want to do is we want to hold it down tight enough that when we push these buttons that we can feel the resistance on this on the uh, open button we want to feel the the negative resistance as it's pushing back the buttons that uh, are the actual combination will push back on this open button the other buttons won't and so you do is get on it pushed I'm gonna squeeze it pretty hard then I'm gonna push down pretty hard bang if I could bang on it I don't feel nothing on that one that's a five four nothing on a four feel a little bit on a three so I'm just gonna write that down these don't have to be in any kind of order so I'm gonna write down a three these combos when you open this box up I don't know if you can see but it, it, let me try two. Oh, I can definitely feel it with the two I don't know I'll try let me try one see what one does Yeah, I can fill it with a one. Well, this is pretty productive. One, two, three. But it's not a four or a five, because four and five was pretty solid. So I'll hold this in. Let me try six. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel six. Now, I don't know if you can see, but if I hold this down and push the six, this little, see if this little gap closes a little bit when I push it down. But I can feel I can feel the button. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to make sure you keep it. I can feel the button six pushing back on it. So we'll write down number six. And you could definitely feel number seven. Nothing on seven. Eight. Nothing on eight. Nothing on nine. 
nothing on zero. So, I have three, two, one, and six. So let's try it. Three, two, one, six. Ah. <laughs> see, see there? So now, I know the combo to this box. Uh, these things are really, really easy to change. Just pull this little, pull this little key, this little card down, and then you'll have, uh, I don't know if you can see it, the little slots. And on the outside of each one of those dials, it's, there's an arrow pointing. So that's it. See, that's pointing down. I don't know if I can get this in there close enough. So that's pointing down, 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 up, 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 down. So one, two, three, and six are pointing down. So you just take the little, the little flathead that's on there, stick it in there, and just turn the button all the way around the other side. These, when you buy these brand new, they have no combo. So if I take those, move them all back, clear it, and you can see, so. Clear it. Because there's no combo, I don't need to push any button. It'll just open and close every time. And then put your, put your little screwdriver card back in. If you notice, that card also covers up all the holes. Because on the back, you can look through the, you can look through these uh, screw holes and try to see what the combo is. You might get an idea of one, two, or three numbers. This is the key ring. Put that down, slide it in there, and uh, that's it. So now I got this key box that I'm definitely not going to use, but, you know, somebody might need it, but at least I got it. It's working now. Got any questions? Post your questions down below. Subscribe. I got some more videos coming up, still working on setting up a Wi-Fi mesh in my house with IP, or not IP, um, CCTV security system. And I got a couple other videos on welding on my Coke machine, some techniques for filling holes on uh, using a my MIG welder to fill holes in the sheet metal on my Coke machine without burning into it and causing other problems. So subscribe. Uh, leave your comments below. Have a good one.